welcome back to the channel today i want to talk about perks that you should probably upgrade and have as soon as possible to help you with your game and quality of life and things of that nature so if we go up here to skills i'm going to show you what i've got personally these are my choices um, i started with gastronomy which i don't really care about but eventually i will get around to it but if we go over here to physical i feel that fitness is a great perk to have because you get to have more oxygen you don't need to rank this up as much as possible maybe get it to a rank two um, just so you got more oxygen that means you can run for further before you run out of breath before you start to take damage from running so for me fitness is definitely something you should be looking into off the bat but more importantly weightlifting this increases how much you can carry now you're going to be picking up a lot of things off the ground you're going to be running around with them you're going to get over encumbered over encumbered in this game basically means that when your mass is higher than what you can hold you run even if you're normal running and not sprinting you start to lose your oxygen and then you start to take health damage a lot sooner than you normally should so having more weight in your pockets definitely definitely is worth it probably the most important perk in my opinion to um wellness as well increase your maximum health again i don't think you need to have more than 10 percent, but 20 percent is viable too the challenges to get to these rank twos are fairly easy as well it won't take you long to get to them if you are this way inclined with conversations persuasion is pretty good now you can wear outfits to increase your persuasion you can drink items and eat items to increase your persuasion but having a rank one here with an extra 10% just makes the persuasion game a little bit easier. I think with the right clothes and the right buffs and rank two, persuasion is going to be pretty straightforward. Next up in the combat tree, I have picked up a laser gun recently. So I put some um, points into laser weapons doing more damage. Shotguns are very useful too. But ballistic weapons in general is anything that fires bullets, basically. Anything that does physical damage. So all of your rifles, your pistols, your shotguns and everything all will be affected by the ballistic weapon damage. So you could very easily rank this up to rank 2 to do 20% more damage. And then also do individual weapons depending on what you're actually using. But that's just preference to how you play for the combat tree. Medicine will allow you to restore extra health. I feel like this is very, very worth leveling up as well to like level at least rank two, rank three preferably because even though the AI is not that good, especially if you're on higher difficulties, you get hit like a truck. So having this as a quick little kind of like fix in the mid battle, you get extra percentage on heals. Definitely, definitely worth it. Then we have surveying. This solely is up to you if you like to survey planets. This is a godsend a godsend to be able to scan things from further to just be able to just do things easier definitely worth it i went up to do weapon engineering because i want to add stuff to my weapons and, and create mods and stuff i don't have a, a point yet to be able to actually get to rank two but the next thing i unlock will be rank two um, because you get superior weapon mods which makes your weapons better obviously and then that's going to open up a whole new game for me where i have to go and get the materials and stuff because right now i'm not really doing kind of like that kind of stuff i'm surveying planets and stuff but i'm not actually like grinding for materials so this is going to be very useful um to do that to open up a new part of the game and then finally in the tech tree you want the security perk absolutely incredible rank two gives you more vision on what you are doing it gives you blue rings to let you know when a lock can be opened with the digi pick pattern that you have selected it's very easy just to look through and see what picks are going to work at this point and then figuring out which one it's it's very it's much easier than just a rank one um, security perk then boost pack training this just allows you to boost through the air it allows traveling a little bit faster because you're, you're gonna have a little bit more oxygen when you boost because instead of running in a straight line when you jump and dash forward you save a bit of oxygen so you're going to constantly be running and moving and stuff and it also helps in battles as well um rank two again this is going to be something i do when i get another skill point because i need it now to do less fuel so all in all these are the like kind of starter perks up to rank 20 that i would in involve myself in but it's completely up to you and how you play piloting is also another good one if you wanted to get um the only other two perks that i think are worth unlocking and leveling up are commerce so you buy for five percent less and sell for ten percent more now credits aren't as big of a deal in this game as you think it would be you get a lot of credits very quickly 
your big purchases like your apartments and some some guns that you want to try are a little bit expensive but for the most part for the past 10 hours of this game i've had over 100k credits so while this is going to be a useful perk i don't think you need to do it from the bat but if you want to get a lot of money very quickly this is the perk for you and then also theft pickpocketing allows you to pickpocket i'm not really a fan of pickpocketing in games it's never really been my thing but also as well i feel like there's a lot of risk here especially if you're doing it in a city or something because if you get caught then you go to jail and all that kind of stuff but if that's your if that's what you find fun in a game i think that's a great perk to start with as well and the thing with theft as well it feels like you also need stealth which allows you to have a stealth meter and 25 percent more difficult to detect when sneaking i believe that will probably affect your chances of being able to pickpocket properly i don't know for sure but it just seems like that's the case and then obviously you know boxing if you if you're going unarmed melee combat is just a no-brainer you have to take this and that's about it for what i believe are the the kind of quintessential perks to start with and make sure you get leveled up but again, it's all down to your playstyle and how you play and what you want. I just feel like as a new player, someone who hasn't really researched this, these are pretty much things that you're going to need for the most part. And then other ones are like specialist stuff that you want to do. So yeah, I hope that helped. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, all that kind of fun stuff. Thank you for watching. I've been easy now. You have been awesome.